morning. Welcome to day three of our French Polynesian adventure. Kevin and I are at the Hilton Morea Resort. We have gone full French Polynesian today, as you can see. We actually ordered this flower crown yesterday. They make them here at the resort and they delivered it at 6.30 this morning, which was really awesome. And I'm kind of shocked that they actually offered that service. I wanted it that early because we want to go out and take photos while the light is amazing. You ready for this day? Oh yeah. Our air conditioned room was so nice and cold and it's so humid out here that as soon as we walked out all of our camera lenses fogged over. So. <laughs> Right, I think we got some really good photos. We only shot for about a half an hour because we are hungry. So we're gonna go eat some breakfast. Um, like I said before, I get free breakfast because I am a gold status with Hilton. And I can't wait to go and have everyone stare at me for wearing this. It's gonna be super fun. It's already happening. This might be the best breakfast view I've ever had in my life. I'm literally tearing up right now because of this view. <laughs> I really am. I'm so happy to be here. Maybe I just need coffee or something. But. So far, I went for lots of fruit and of course a few pastries. It looks delicious. I'm so excited for all this tropical fruit. I've never seen such a great fruit buffet in my life. What did you get? Poached eggs, potatoes with lots of onions in it, breakfast sausage, bacon, and then I went a little crazy and did rice with sauteed vegetables. So, and good. I also freaked out on all the fruit. Got all the fruit. How many dishes do you have? I, don't, I have three right now and two drinks. <laughs> That was an amazing breakfast. Best breakfast view I've ever had in my life, and I don't think I've ever eaten that much fruit at breakfast before. Now we are headed to the lobby to meet up with the marketing representative here at the Hilton Maria because we asked if we could tour uh, some other areas of the property, such as an overwater bungalow, since we're not staying in one of those, so we could get some uh, cool Instagram shots and also create some content for the hotel. Our tour began at the spa where we got to check out the lobby and some treatment rooms. Next, we headed to the pontoon where we were able to tour an overwater bungalow. We just toured an overwater bungalow, which I was okay with our room before, but now since we saw that overwater bungalow, I'm like so sad. <laughs> and Kevin is going to throw the drone up. We do have special permission at the Hilton today to do that, which is amazing because this place screams for drone shots. Now that we've gotten plenty of drone time in and overwater bungalow photos, which I'm super happy about, we are going back to our on land bungalow for about a half hour to charge up some batteries and cool off. It's one of the bad things about being here during low season. It's the hot and sweaty season, but it's fine because 
it's super clear we've had no rain and there's hardly anybody here so because they're doing renovations here at the hilton until next month they are shuttling everyone to a private island which they call motu for free so we're going to take advantage of that go on that for a couple of hours before we rent a scooter and go around the island landed at the private island. It's very small, but it's like a jungle. It's super cool. I'm psyched and the boat ride was really pretty. This is an awesome experience. This place is very beautiful. This is what happens when your wife wants to wear the flower crown, but also bring the hat. It's the real husbands of Instagram right here. And we have made a friend. Hello. Kelly's always making friends with animals. I've named her Gloria. back on the little boat and go back to the Hilton. Walking along here, we have to go over there. I like swimming in the ocean when it's warm. to go in the water for just a little bit before we had to go back and we saw two big beautiful stingrays which is so cool now we're heading back to the boat we go back to the Hilton our time on the boat was awesome and I took a little time to rest while Kevin went to go rent us a scooter so now we are going to go off property and get some lunch and then we're going to go just kind of explore. There's a really nice beach that's really close to the Hilton um, and also some great views of mountains. So there's all kinds of stuff to see on Maria. It has been recommended to me that we do rent some kind of vehicle. So I will report back and let you know if it was worth it. There she is. Our chariot awaits. It's a good thing this guy knows how to ride one of these. Let's go. So as it turns out, our timing was a little bit off. Pretty much everything closes between 2 and 3 p.m. So we eventually found this place, which is open, which is nice. We saw some places on the way here that we wanted to stop and take some photos and check out, and then maybe head up to the Belvedere Point, or Belvedere Lookout, or whatever it's called, but we need some food <laughs> to refuel because it's been a busy day so far and we haven't eaten since like 8 o'clock this morning. We're pretty hungry. This is the face of a hangry Kevin. <laughs> Let's 
Let's do this. Ah. Ah. Oh, I'm top heavy. We took our trusty scooter. Oh my gosh. What the heck? We <laughs> took our scooter up to Belvedere Lookout. And there's so many chickens. <laughs> They're not actually, scratch that. There's so many roosters up here and they're all there's like one chicken and they're all chasing the chicken around and crowing and fighting over this chicken we literally just saw a cock fight well, i don't know why there's so many roosters it was about a 20 minute drive from where we had our lunch and you can hike up here but actually i cut my foot earlier on the little island we were on, so I will not be doing any hiking. But, this is what we are looking at. Check that out. <laughs> this is Cook's Bay, and this is Oponohu Bay. Hope I'm saying that right. But, that is where we stayed the first night, right in there. And the Hilton is right in the center, but on the coastal side there. Oh my gosh, there's so many roosters. <laughs> idea didn't really go exactly to plan we weren't able to see as much as the island as we hoped and the light wasn't very good for a while on the side we were on but it's really good now although we are very close to the Hilton this is the best beach on the island I guess it's a public beach I can't pronounce the name but it's right next to the Hilton so you can walk there from that hotel and we are gonna shoot some Instagram photos because the light is now very good So we're just shooting at these really cool palm trees on the side of the road. And as we were just taking our first photo, this coconut just fell. And we're kind of freaked out now because if that thing hit you in the head, it would knock you out really bad. We're gonna hang out a little closer to the beach, I think. So we just got in the water for the last time today. We are feeling pretty beat, so we're just gonna go back to the Hilton and probably get some room service and zonk out early because tomorrow we have an early day for our snorkeling tour. We're gonna go snorkeling with sharks and stingrays, so make sure to check out that vlog, okay? This is Kelly and Kevin out. I'm trying to carry like 50 things. All right, gonna be okay. Make sure that mic is on first. Like I think I'm Moana or something. Are you ready? Extreme helmet. I'm a weeble wobble. Oh no, they're bottom heavy. Never mind. 